Hello, Big Show nerds. Once again, I am Dustin. Thank you for watching the Big Show Entertainment Network. These are your nerdy news headlines for July 9th, 2019. Let's kick on into TV news. Today's episode is going to be pretty long because TV and movies are quite big. So let's just get right into it. First up is Stargirl. Uh, someone who claims to be an insider uh, has posted on the official Facebook page or Facebook group, rather, the uh, quote unquote official Facebook group. We don't know if it's created by the DC Universe people or not, but someone who is uh, part of that group and claims to be an insider says that we will be seeing Alan Scott in the series. If uh, you don't know who that is, Alan Scott is the Green Lantern from the Golden Age. Uh, also, I but if memory serves, and it's been a while since I've read any JSA, but Justice Society of America's Green Lantern as well for a minute. Um, I could that could be wrong. Don't call me on that. But still, pretty interesting. Uh, they're they're doing some deep cuts for these DC Universe shows and. More power to them. Next is a little bit of a quickie update for American history, uh, American horror story, rather. Uh, 1984 is the new season. It was just announced that Sarah Paulson will not play a, quote, significant role in the new season. This will be the fir a first for the series because she's been a signif significant role in every season so it'll be interesting to see how that changes the dynamic for this show next from an unlikely source we got an update from revolver magazine about marilyn manson being in the stand they were doing an interview with manson he said that he is going to be in the show i mean he's done some acting before so it's not it's not to say that this is not a good source it's just an interesting one to get this kind of news from so manson has officially we don't know what role he's going to be playing in the show just yet but he is officially going to be in the cbs all access miniseries for stephen king's the stand that's that's kind of cool actually i dig that our next piece of news comes from variety and actually the variety article that i got it from was talking more about the fact that friends was leaving netflix in 2020 and was going to a new streaming platform. The new streaming platform that they're talking about is HBO Max. But there's already two other HBO streaming services. So what the heck is HBO Max? HBO Max is the Warner Brothers streaming service. That's what Warner has decided to call their streaming service. No word as to whether or not it's going to affect HBO Go or HBO Now because those are different uh, is a different set of content effectively though they did say when they do launch hbo max that it is going to launch with with over ten thousand hours of content already in the bag so very possibly they're going to be consolidating everything down into hbo max though not everything because as it stands right now dc universe which is technically part of the warner brothers uh, media group dc universe is going to maintain its standing as a standalone app so theoretically the dc universe app is going to be the cheaper of the two options because you only get the specific stuff for dc universe and then hbo max possibly is going to include everything Warner Brothers has to offer, which very well could include the DC Universe content, at least the video content, not their comic books and such. So that'll be really interesting to see how that plays out over the next year. Next up, we got a couple of interesting updates about the new Game of Thrones prequel directly from George R.R. R. Martin. First up, he revealed that at the very least, there are going to be Starks in this prequel series. There are not going to be Lannisters, though Casterly Rock is going to factor into the story. He also confirmed we will be seeing White Walkers, Mammoths, Giants, Direwolves, and no dragons. Very, very interesting. He did not uh, concern himself with saying anything about Targaryens, so very likely we'll see Targaryens because they're just a little Stark, if, I, if memory serves. Uh, and also, instead of it being the Seven Kingdoms, it's going to be the Twelve Kingdoms, apparently in the history, and this was something I didn't know because I'm not super far into the books yet, but apparently 
Before there were seven, there were 12. So we're going to see all 12 of the kingdoms, and that's going to factor into the story apparently pretty heavily. So, I, I, yeah, <laughs> yes please, and more. Our last bit of TV news comes directly from Netflix. They just announced for all of you video game fans out there, for the platformers who love to play the things and the stuff, Cuphead is getting a TV series, is getting an animated series, animated in the same style that the game is made in, and is going to be on Netflix. It's going to be called The Cuphead Show, and it's going to obviously feature Cuphead and his brother Mugman, uh, I yeah, th this was just this is kind of a win. This is I feel like something that was inevitable, but took a little while to get there. So I'm I'm super stoked for it. And now let's kick on to movies. And in movies, we got first is a big leak in the Mortal Kombat movie area. The last we we heard about this, James Wan is just producing. I forget the name of the director, but that's irrelevant to this point. Uh, the leak is a casting announcement for all of the characters and they listed all of the characters. We're not gonna go through that. There's a couple of things that we need to note. First up, they still had Cole Turner as the lead character in this story. If you're not a Mortal Kombat fan, Cole Turner would be completely made up for this movie. So to have your main character be a completely made up character is a bad idea in so many ways. So there's that. And also the leak, the casting call was from February. So it's very possible that it is way outdated and way inaccurate at this point. We don't know. There is a fair amount of other questionable things like the fact that they're going to also feature Kano as a main character character which who technically should be a supporting character and 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 yeah there's very interesting stuff kung lao is taking a vow of silence what the heck is that all about um and when asked about this on twitter greg russo the screenwriter said one word and one word only leaving it pretty cryptic all he said was inaccurate that's all we got uh, but we also got an official announcement for the movie that Joe Taslim has been officially cast as Sub-Zero. Uh, Taslim is probably best known for his role in the uh, the Raid. It's the second Raid movie, Raid Redemption. Uh, I haven't seen either of the Raid movies, so I don't know exactly where he falls in that. But he is going to be our Sub-Zero for the show. And now let's kick on to more news. Next up is a sequel to The Big Lebowski. That's right, you heard me. A sequel to The Big Lebowski. John Turturro... Torturo, yeah, Torturo, I said it right, uh, is making a, a sequel called Jesus Rolls. So it's going to focus on the bowling guy. Uh, don't mess with the Jesus. That guy, it's going to be focusing on him and, and three of his compatriots. So the, what else needs to be said? It's a sequel to The Big Lebowski with original cast members. We're going to see it. That's just the thing that's going to happen. Next, remember that Chris Rock uh, Saw reboot that we talked about that is apparently going to star Chris Rock? Well, uh, he's at least going to be support. I don't know if, if, if there's not enough known about the plot for us to say he's going to be starring. Well, apparently, Samuel L. Jackson just signed on to be Chris Rock's dad. Yeah, this is happening, people. This is the way this is going, and I, I'm so intrigued by this news. Uh, next is a real quickie. We got the Mulan trailer over the last over the last few days since the fourth, I believe. Just wanted to bring it up. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I wasn't a huge fan of the original, so I'm I'm not going to be the, the the definitive source for what's different in this. Uh, but it is pretty interesting. I really do like the visual style and all that. So go check it out. Let's have a conversation about this in the comments. What do you think about the Mulan trailer? Uh, and then our final piece of movie news has to do with the Halloween movies. Yes, I said movies. It seems, the rumor has it, that <clears throat> at least according to Bloody Disgusting, that director David Gordon Green, who gave us the reboot that he and Danny McBride and others worked on uh, last year, that they're going to be filming two sequels to that, which would kind of be Halloween 3 and 4 all over again. And we, j we did already talk about the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis has signed on to do at least one more movie. So if they're trying to squeeze her one movie agreement into two movies, what better way to do it than to film those two movies back to back? Though the other half of this rumor says that they're going to release both movies in the same month in 2021. 
that seems a little ridiculous. But that is the rumor, and that is what we've got for movies news for this episode. That does it for this episode of Headlines Nerds. Thank you very, very much for joining me on this twice weekly show for a more in-depth conversation on these nerdy bits plus all kinds of more nerdy fun you can join me on my personal youtube channel generally nerdy but don't forget to like subscribe and share on all of the big show entertainment media platforms and tune in next time for all that is happening across the nerd world (laughs) 